Today I wanted to focus on some activities and tips and strategies for how to help you practice zipping with your child. Um, I recommend setting aside time in your day or in your week to practice these skills. I know that it's really tricky when you're trying to run out the door to go outside and have some fun to have your child stop and really focus on zipping their coat. So take a couple minutes um, to just sit down and practice with them and really encourage them and cheer them on because zipping isn't easy. So I recommend um, starting to practice with either your coat or your sweatshirt off and on the table so we don't have to deal with that bulky fabric and this can really help you focus on how to get that tab into that zipper which is one of the hardest steps in learning how to zip. So down here I have one of my old sweatshirts. I took a permanent marker and I changed the color of the tab at the bottom. I made it pink and then I changed the color over here also to pink. So this can visually cue me where that tab is supposed to go. Unfortunately on most zippers it's all the same color so it's not only hard to pinch and figure out where my hands are supposed to go when I'm putting that tab in, but also to see where am I supposed to insert that into. So that's one strategy I like to use. And then I also added a piece of tape down here. This will provide a visual cue and a tactile prompt for your child to know where am I supposed to pinch and hold when I'm inserting the zip the tab into the zipper and also when you're pulling up the zipper you have to maintain that pinch. So the first step, lay it out, make sure that it's facing away from you so that it is in the direction that you would be zipping as if it was on. So I say insert the pink tab into the pink there, maintaining that hold. And then on here, I added an extension of a hair tie. Some kids have a really hard time maintaining pinch on the little zipper down there. So this will alleviate the pinch that they have to maintain. They can loop their finger through, or this gives some more space to pinch. So we pinch hold and then pull up. So once your child has mastered zipping on there, you can try um, either having them do it while their um, zip, while their coat or their sweatshirt is on. Really pay attention to the fabric and the fit of what they're practicing wearing when they zip. If something has too much fabric, it might be hard for them to work around the fabric to reach the tab. If it's too tight, it might also make it a little bit more restricting on their arms to really be able to reach and pull up. If you want to do another step outside of just here before you practice while it's on, you could drape the um, article of clothing that you're practicing on over a chair. This is similar. I would make sure it's about the same height as where the, um, the clothing piece would hang when it's on you. This will put a little bit of an extra challenge in. Your arms are going to have to go around there and you can practice zipping that way as well. Another activity that I use with kids to practice, if you just take a string, tie a nice tight knot so it won't move on them, you can loop that right over their neck. And I have um, bread tabs here that have holes in them that are it's very similar to the movement using your hands together like you do when you're zipping. So you take the end, you have to put that through here and then pull up. It's just like the steps to zipping, putting that, it's as if putting the tab into the zipper, maintaining the hold down there and then pulling up. You could also do this with um, paper clips. Those would work just as well as those bread tabs. So. Another thing I have done in the past, if your child is having a hard time because the fabric that is on their coat or their sweatshirt is too bulky, if you have an old sweatshirt or a coat, you could cut around the back of there, down to the front, so then they'll still have the neck piece on there and maintain the zipper. So then there's less fabric and they're really just focusing on pinching and pulling up that tab. Um, I've also attached a couple other activity ideas um, and strategies for helping with zipping and then some other fine motor 
um, activities to really strengthen that pinch and help with the bilateral skills. So using your, their, your child's hands together, um, which are all skills that you need to zip. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. I hope that these tips are helpful.